protesters are flaring tonight at a rally opposing the Virginia governor's new school policies restricting the rights of transgender students. This follows a day where thousands of Virginia students walked out of school in protest. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder has more on the policy changes fueling a heated debate. A peaceful demonstration supporting LGBTQ rights in Loudoun County gets tense as a lone counter protester shouts and pushes his way through demonstrators. It comes to a head when a man rips up the counter protester sign and police are called with witnesses alleging the counter protester shoved demonstrators. No charges have been filed. Across the Commonwealth, students spilled out of nearly 100 different schools in protest of Governor Glenn Youngkin's plan to roll back the rights of transgender students. This is really going to hurt a lot of students. For the first time, we're hearing from Yunkin State Superintendent appointee Jillian Baylow on this issue. The previous policy required schools to address students by their preferred pronouns, allow restroom access accordingly, and prohibited gender-based discrimination. How many times have the previous policies created a safety concern for students? Yeah, you know, um, Drew. Thanks for thanks for that question. And um, and I I haven't kept track of the number of incident instances, but I also know that at the state level, I am not going to be aware of that. That's why these policies are not state policies; they're model policies for local school divisions. Some school divisions in Northern Virginia have said they won't implement the governor's new model policies, which is not a particularly unique idea. The previous policies have been ignored by the majority of schools across the Commonwealth. The ACLU of Virginia has taken at least one such school district court where the matter is unresolved. Maybe as many as 90% of the school divisions across the state had not implemented the 2021 um, policy and guidelines. And so that's that's one of the reasons that we have new model policies. Declan Green says he transitioned about six years ago and says the proposed policy change won't help transgender students. With the right resources, the right help, these kids will get through it and they'll live. Not the right resources, they don't. And they don't come out of school in one piece. Having walked in their shoes, he says he'll keep fighting for transgender student rights, decisions the governor says need to be made by parents. Reporting in Northern Virginia, Drew Wilder, News 4. Before those changes could take effect, there is a 30-day public comment period, which opened yesterday. The response from both sides has already been overwhelming, with about 23,000 comments coming in. That's nearly three times as many comments as the previous policy got in an entire month.